This is a training video for FLIR's quantification in camera capabilities within a FLIR G-Series camera. Today we're going to quantify using a standard disposable BIC lighter and be able to use the QOGI in-camera feature from a FLIR GX320, GX620, or G620 camera. The first thing you need to do is choose the quantification mode. Here you go into the mode gallery of your camera and you can see the various gallery options. Once you toggle to the quantification or simply touch quantification on your touchscreen LCD, you have the capabilities to get into the quantification mode. Now since you see a circle, we know that we are going to initially do a flow measurement of quantification. The three dots on the bottom allow us to get into the various parameters that you would need to set up for your quantification run. The first of those is temperature. You need to choose the ambient temperature of the atmosphere where the leak is happening. In this case, we're just in an office, so a standard 22 degrees Celsius temperature would work. You also need to choose your wind from low, normal, or high, because again, we're in an office, we'll choose low as our wind. You need to choose the leak type and choose between a point or a single exit point of a leak or diffused, where you may have multiple leak exits within an image. You also need to set the temperature boundary and how far away you are from the leak. Because again, we're in an office, this is as low as we can go, and we're two meters away. One thing that is quite simple to do is just to choose the gas type. And because we're using a BIC lighter or a standard lighter, we know that we need to quantify utilizing butane as the gas. And then choose the color of the plume. Is it black or is it white, which sets the plume polarity uh, as absorbent or emissive. In the middle, you can choose your various flow rates from concentration, choosing a parts per million meter, or flow, which you have already set, or we have already set, as grams per hour. Then you want to set your delta T. Here you tell the, the camera the ambient temperature to turn it on. Anything showing up in red will show an insufficient delta T to be able to make an accurate measurement using QOGI in camera. Once you're done, you get steady, set the camera on a tripod, and when you get going, you'll actually see the arrow where you can touch the arrow or simply push the save button on the camera. Here, it'll tell you to be steady with the camera on a tripod. You tap got it, and you'll start your process. The first thing that happens, you won't see on this screen, but on the camera, you'll see a starting in five, four, three, two, one. Now the quantification is starting and you can see the plume begin to be colorized as it moves throughout the quantification ring from inside the ring to outside of the ring where we're quantifying the emission. In this case, it'll take about 10 seconds to actually quantify. And when you're done, it'll say documenting, show you a quick visual image of this, and then you'll have the option to view your summary. Here you can see the actual emission rate that we quantified. In this case, it was 6.4 grams per hour. If you compare this to a recent EPA study in which they quantified the mass weight loss of a BIC lighter as being four grams per hour. In this case, you can see the QOGI in-camera feature from FLIR's G-Series cameras is very close to the accurate or the estimated emission rate of a leak by the EPA in their study. Now you can look at the various inputs that you put in parameters. When you're done and you're done reviewing this, this document, simply hit the check mark. This takes you back to the live feature on your OGI camera from FLIR and gives you the opportunity to go to yet another quantification in camera. 